<laughs> I mean, man, with that attitude, carry on, man. Carry on. You gotta, you gotta make sure you play. He's got the results to back it up, man. Yeah, he's got. He let does. Him talk. Let him he's talk. like SoCal. You guys left me on rank. Oh, yo, uh, no. Deckpo, hello. <laughs> Just immediate barrels. I like it. But he starts, he starts up aggressive to not give Duck Hunt the ability to start making that zoning and true. use all those options like the can. Great very, stuff from Dakpo. Very Dakpo. smart, very smart. And uh, Nintendo bringing it back, though. It, it, he, he may have like prevented him from setting up in the beginning, but he's not going to be able to do that consistently throughout mm -hmm. the match. Oh, what oh, a great no. play off the can! Ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo is only here to play a show. And he's got the banana in hand. He's going to hide behind his can. He knows this matchup. He's like, Haha, I got your play thing. I got my plaything. I have your toy. You come over here. And you can see Dakpo has to put. I got all the toys. Come on, Vitaly. Diddy, Diddy that without ain't a fair. You got to share, bro. Diddy without a banana is like Diddy without a paddle. Didn't they teach you the golden rule in kindergarten, bro? Come on. You share your toys? Right. I don't know, man. This is one toy oh, you don't want to no. share. He air dodges towards Dakpo and he gets hit by that down smash. I like the edge guard attempt from Dakpo with the barrels. <laughs> Uh, the very tip hit of that. Oh my god, what a setup with a down tilt. The first down tilt not registering into the up smash, being a little bit too far away. Yeah. He finds the second one with the very tip, and then he runs back and charges the barrels to catch the rollback. Great opportunity for Dakpo to be using those barrels. Closes up the uh, the distance pretty fast, and I'm not going to lie, something that's really hard to honestly expect at this time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. With the banana on the platform, I was a little bit scared. He could have set up into the infinite. 43% on Nintendo's second stock right here. He's going to get a grab. Nice, not good up throw. Enough. Okay. He actually didn't have the setup with the can. The can was not high enough to convert, but the can was raw. low. The can raw. Definitely not high, not high enough to convert, but high enough to definitely finish it off. Yes, absolutely. And that can is going to be such a crucial part of any matchup with Duck Hunt, right? It comes out frame one, so it can break out of a lot of combos. He tries to find something with the Clay Pigeon into up smash. Just gonna hold shield. He's definitely privy to the usage of Dakpo's barrels. Okay. Nice. Grab. Nice. Get that forward throw. Yeah. Get stage control here. Catch him on the DI in as well. We talked about earlier how the Belmonts are one of the best edge guards of the game. Diddy also Ooh. part of that name as well. Still good at edge guarding. Losing some of his tools from Smash 4, but it doesn't mean he has the tools to back up the rest of the game. Okay, nice. Gonna go for Dakpo. Bancho coming out, and with the assist, getting that forward air to take that second stock. Nintendo taking the lead. Dakpo thought he had the read, but Nintendo gets it with the Clay Pigeon up smash and continues his juggle. 86% now on Dakpo. Oh, Clay Pigeon. And to the back air. Let's go. Throwing off the can. All right. But Dakpo answering back right here. Quick down tilt to forward air. Chasing deep off the stage. He's got to be careful, though, because the can is going to stop him in his tracks. Fernando, let's see how he can help out. Pancho back out. All nice, right. play pigeon out there. Trying to move around Dark Pole. And the down the smash. Down smash man. Hard it's, to DI against that one so too. It's so hard, dude. I see Nintendo use that so often. It hits on both sides, and it shoots you into the direction of the blast zone. Okay. Nintendo taking that game number one. Man. Alrighty though. I, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably gonna be our, our last uh, set. Yeah, this of, is our last. Yeah. Uh, of, the, of our block. Of yep. course, there is tons and tons of more action here at Switch Fest. We're gonna do a commentator switch after this. We're gonna get put into the very capable hands of Strides and Slep. Uh, but to close us out, we still have one. Maybe, potentially two more games. Let's see. Dakpo's gonna take Nintendo to Kalos now. Uh, I'm not sure about this counter pick. It's a very wide stage. Biggest glass zones out of any of them. Um, but maybe he's gonna be able to make use of these uh, side platforms. Yeah, and those, that's kind of one of the dynamics of the stage, right? How important the side platforms are. What a control with the barrels, too. Yeah. And Nintendo kind of has to show a little bit of respect. Game one, though, in Nintendo's hand. Let's see what adaptations Dakpo can make. The one thing I did like that he was doing earlier, closing the gap with barrels. I, I really like those plays. It was something Nintendo was not aware of, and definitely something that used to. We don't have too many Duck Hunts here in Soka. Yeah. All right, so Nintendo back at the ledge right here, using the can to make this recovery a little bit safer. Felipe. Oh, Felipe back out. Felipe kind of just ruining Nintendo's chances right there, getting in his way. He thought Felipe was here to defend, man, but he was only here to take the L. Oh, down throw, no, nice. Trying to follow up immediately with a down air, but Nintendo had the can. Can comes out frame one still, so you gotta be careful when it's out in play, or when it's being put in play. 
Nice, juggling the can here. Trying to force Dakpo into an option. Forward throw off the can, and the stock off the can as well. What a play. The assist with the Rodolfo, too. All right. <laughs> Dakbo continuing this pressure off the ledge, though. And if you guys are wondering back home, what's the deal with the can and why the play is being made that way, uh, Sakurai himself has confirmed the can is actually player three. Oh, okay. Nice. The, yeah, things like the can. That makes the, sense. Yeah, That's the, the con, right? Yeah. The can, the the forts, the smash attacks, the clay pigeon, that's all player three. Duck and, uh, Duck and Dog is actually three characters. Oh, there's the barrels. It's not going to be enough to take the KO, fortunately, for Nintendo. He's going to shoot some play pigeons, and the gunman saving him right there. Oh. Yet again, man. Anytime Nintendo wants to pull out a projectile, every time he uses the clay pigeon, uh, Dakpo just charges that up. It's a great way to punish that from a uh, mid-distance. 45% here on Nintendo's last stock in game two. What a play yet again. <laughs> Dakpo able to take the stock, but not able to find a way around that play. Gonna suffer from Nintendo. He's even got Dakpo a little bit scared to go on the platform there. With the cannon, with the cannon play, nice. Gets rid of it, and then now is his opportunity to reset the can. All right, that's Felipe. I like it. Closes the gap there. He makes sure that the can is a looming threat, but not only that, the ability to give Nintendo the time to come closer to Dakbo's range sets up another gunman here. The can up high, forcing Dakbo to go to the other side of the stage. All right, fire Nintendo man, you hold on to that banana as much as possible yeah. and start using your specials as soon as you can. Now, something to note, you see Nintendo going for the gunman a lot, right? It's a pretty good tool, and they all have uh, different timings on their shooting. Mm -hmm. Something to note is that the gunman comes out RNG. There is one exception to the rule, is that the same gunman cannot come out twice in a row. Yeah. So it's a very similar to the uh, modern Tetris mechanics. So exactly, and if I'm not mistaken, these cannot come out two times in a row. If I'm not mistaken, the gunmen also have different ranges. I believe yes. one of them have a shorter range, a long range, and a mid range. Yeah, they have different guns, so that makes sense, right? All right, but down to our last stocks right here. Potential 2-0 victory for Nintendo, bringing this back. Or Dakbo, will he close it out and bring it to game three? He's gonna get caught in the banana pool. Try nice, misses the up air. Nintendo slowly bringing this back, 78%. Dead even, in fact, 78.9 to 78.9. Nintendo changing that with an up air. And if you want to talk about commentator's ball. blessing, that was definitely one of them for Nintendo. Oh, yeah. All right, there's Pancho shooting the can forward. He's back at the ledge, and Dakpo with the banana in hand. He tosses the banana up. He's, this is really good. The platforms are really good for Dakpo. Nice, that's the can oh. up high. Did he's live and die by that, by that side B? Oh, the, the parry and no follow-up! That was such a scary position to be in. He had no guaranteed follow-up. Tough trade. Can one more time to cover the ledge. I like that from Nintendo. Mm -hmm. And even the gunman for protection. Oh, there's the oh. barrels again. And the up mm. smash off of the banana. Yo, ladies Dad, and gentlemen. Nintendo really making Dakbo pay for that one. Send Nintendo to top 48. Send this man in Japan, dude. He's, he's yeah. out there making plays. Yeah, absolutely, man. That was absolutely... Brilliant way to finish off our block here. Top uh, actually, 48. Yeah, top 48. I was, like, hold on. I was like, this is not, yeah, it's not best of fire because it's ice no, no, talking. They're yet. still talking, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Dakpo already, I was confused too. I was like, I was like, is, is Nintendo banning stages? I'm like, Dakpo already rolled up his controller. I don't know what he's doing. He already unplugged, man. He was already ready to go home and take that from the L, dude. But hey, send Nintendo to top 48 losers. It's actually a set, like, uh, casting schedule. Yeah, sorry. You got, try at like uh, MSM or like one of the locals. But yeah, good Yo, stuff to Nintendo. He talked about how it's, he's more excited for the trip to Japan and the tiebreaker to make it out there. Uh, Nintendo will be moving on from loser side of top 48 here at Switch Fest. Um, that's going to be doing it for our block. Edmund, it's been a pleasure. Vance, always a pleasure. That was a great been a block. Pleasure. Definitely great sets. And I hope you guys all enjoyed the commentary. If you did, be sure to give us a shout out on Twitter. That goes a long way for us. Uh, definitely helped with like, you know, other TOs inviting us to uh, other events. Yeah, so. not only that, it's good to also give feedback. And honestly, yeah. if you guys want to follow us and what the things we do, if you guys are wondering, we do host a podcast. We're supposed to be this weekend, but we're obviously here doing yeah. commentary. Yep, yep. But follow us. We'll probably be doing it next week. Follow me at Vance underscore EXE. And of course, you can follow me at Edmund Urias. My name is Edmund of Thunder Gaming. Be sure to follow them as well. Uh, definitely making some big moves. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be it. Yeah. We'll see you guys with the commentator switch exactly. and uh, an ad slide. Yeah.